On the evening of April 14, 1865, famous actor and Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth assassinated President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. The attack came only five days after Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered his army at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia, effectively ending the Civil War. With one shot from his 44 caliber Derringer pistol, Booth would go down as one of the most hated and reviled men in American history. At first, the crowd interpreted the unfolding drama as part of the production, but a scream from the First Lady said otherwise. Although Booth broke his leg in the fall, he managed to escape the theater and Washington, D.C. on horseback. A 23-year-old doctor by the name of Charles Leal was in the audience and rushed to the presidential box immediately upon hearing the shot and Mary Lincoln's scream. He found the president slumped in his chair, paralyzed and unable to breathe. Several soldiers carried Lincoln across the street, along with two other doctors, Dr. Charles Taft and Dr. Albert F.A. King. The men, along with more than a dozen Union soldiers, sat with the president throughout the night as Mary Lincoln, with her eldest son, Robert Todd, sobbed for their husband and father. The three doctors agreed the president could not be saved and would not survive past the morning. And on April 15, 1865, at 7.22 a.m., President Abraham Lincoln was pronounced dead at the age of 56. The president's body was placed in a temporary coffin, draped with an American flag, and escorted by armed cavalry to the White House, where surgeons conducted a thorough autopsy. During the autopsy, Mary Lincoln sent surgeons a note requesting they clip a lock of Lincoln's hair for her. As they removed Lincoln's brain and found the offending bullet, all the men watched simply as it was dropped into a metal bin, a small clank, and then nothing but silence. News of the president's death traveled quickly, and by the end of the day, flags across the country flew at half-mast. Businesses were closed, and people who rejoiced at the end of the Civil War now reeled from Lincoln's shocking assassination. On April 18th, Lincoln's body was carried to the Capitol Rotunda to lay in state. Three days later, his remains were were boarded onto a train that conveyed him to Springfield, Illinois, where he had lived before becoming president. Tens of thousands of Americans lined the railroad route and paid their respects to their fallen leader during the train's solemn progression through the North. I'm walking inside the memorial right now and it was very echoey. You had to be very, very quiet. So I couldn't do my normal walk and talk, but you're gonna see right there, uh, that is the Lincoln marker. And behind that very marker, about two and a half feet behind that and 10 feet below is the Lincoln family vault. And in that vault is where Abraham Lincoln his wife, Mary, and three of his four sons, Edward, Willie, and Tad, are at rest. Uh, his oldest son, Robert, is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. <laughs> 